Fans, let's meet tonight's starting lineups in miracle order. First for the visiting Thunder Bay North Stars, number seven, Garen Boise. Number nine, E.J. Paddington. Number 11, East Miskis. Number 12, Dimitri Trahotis. Number 17, Connor O'Brien. And number 34, Ethan Barron. The starting lineup for your hometown, Cam River Fighting Walleye. From Riverview, New Brunswick, number 11, Cole Frazier. From Thunder Bay, number 14, Ryan Doucette. From Winnipeg, Manitoba, number 29, Isaiah Kinnamanthong. From Adrian, Michigan, number 53, Cade McCrate. From Colorado Springs, Colorado, number 77, Max Wright. And starting in goal from Thunder Bay, number 35, Travis Henderswag. Fans were honored to have Thunder Bay hockey royalty in the building. Clarky, as he is affectionately known, was right there for all five of the Twins Allen Cup Canadian Senior Championships as well as the three Colonial Cup crowns, Thunder Bay won, and a five-pack of Bill Salonen Cup Junior A Triumphs. Fans and players, please join us in welcoming Daryl Clark to Norwest Arena. Fans, if you're able to, please stand, remove your hats, and welcome Mark Nowak for the singing of our national anthem. Thank you, Mark. Thunder Bay North Stars, Cam River Fighting Walleye. Let's get ready to rumble! It's a weekend doubleheader between the Thunder Bay North Stars and the Cam River Fighting Walleye. A pleasure to have you on YouTube tonight. My name is Kevin Jeffrey. The Walleye, the home team in their orange, all of her Papoons jerseys with the white and black trim. Travis Vanderswag of nearby Thunder Bay starting goal for them. And the North Stars in their usual home greens with the yellow, white, and black trim. They will counter with Ethan Barron in goal, the first preseason game for the North Stars. Already the sixth for the Fighting Walleye. Tim Ballant and Eddie Young will be your referees tonight. Linesmen are Jack Hood and Jason Bejan. As we are set to get underway in this one, Easton Miskis will take the opening draw against Max Wright and we are underway nice to have you aboard the North Stars in green the walleye in orange last time these two teams played in this building May the 3rd walleye were winning their Bill Salonen Cup trophy as that puck goes out of play puck out of play brought to you by Recycle West Walleye played three games against the Earth Lumberjacks of the Northern Ontario Junior Hockey League. Winning the opening game, losing the next two. And they split a pair of games in Manitoba uh, against the Neepwa Titans and Niverville Nighthawks. Puck is dumped inside the attacking zone. Miskis checks his man off the puck. Trahotis on the far side. Kept in a good play by McCrate there. Knocked into the corner, Doucette centering it for right. That was blocked on route. Comes back to McCrate at the blue line. He fires it in deep. That's just out of the reach of Frazier. 
Back to the line for Kinnavan Thong. Takes a bump, gets the puck deep. Comes now on the stick of Dimitri Trehotis. And back out to center. This is Pennington just over the line. He is offside. E.J. Paddington, a pretty busy summer for him. Ultimately came back to the North Stars. Had a pretty good skate down south. Lots of runway for Paddington. Face off controlled by the North Stars. Splits the defenseman, including Max Buffone, who was briefly a walleye last year. Comes around back of the goal. Near side for Dixon who started the year in walleye camp. Now he's in North Star colors. This is Beasley around for Buffone. Flips it off the near glass and down the ice. Icing waved off. Dixon catches up to that puck, negates the icing. Puck is freed up there by Canning. And a penalty upcoming against the fighting walleye. High sticking will be the call. Slashing going to be the call, actually. So the North Star power play will go to work for the first time in the preseason. It's off to the Windsor Plywood penalty box to the fighting walleye number 16, Caleb LaBelle. Two minutes for slashing, time of that penalty, 128. LaBelle for slashing at 128. North Stars with an early man advantage. Again, this is their first preseason game as Keegan Jones jumps over the line. Corner, trying to work to the end, Venu. He's knocked off the puck, kept in at the line. Side of the goal there for Tangata. Here's Jones trying to center it out front. That was broken up and played down by Jet Mintenko. Boise at the line. Tried to play it in deep for Larratt. That was broken up, picked up by Ken of Anthong and fired down the ice. 107 to go in the power play. No score, North Stars and Fighting Walleye playing a pair of games this weekend. They'll wrap it up tomorrow night, 8 o'clock at the Fort William First Nation Arena. Gardens won't have ice until early October. Here's Glaucher behind the goal. Playing it out front. Buffone with a shot. That was blocked. He gets it back. Now to Glaucher at the circle. That shot hit a stick, went high, and out of play. Puck out of play brought to you by Recycle West. 40 seconds to go in the power play. First preseason action for the Thunder Bay North Stars. Walleye with a pair of wins in five contests so far. As the night goes on, we'll lay out the regular season opening schedule for these two. Walleye will start at home, North Stars on the road. As that puck is fired down the ice. Barron will leave it for Max Buffone. Buffone, watch closely there. Puck fired in around the glass by O'Brien. Picked up from the Lakers in the offseason. Here's Paddington for O'Brien. Still has the red gloves of the Fort Francis Lakers. Trahotis, down deep for Miscus. And that's broken up and fired down into North Star territory. Penalty comes to an end. O'Brien trying to quarterback things out to center. Trehotis tips it onto the stick of Miscus. On the near side, takes a bump from Ken of Anthong. McCrate out to center. Gets a return feed. McCrate just fires it high and wide. Good attempt there. Back comes Paddington the other way. One on one for Ken of Anthong. He's got some speed. He scores. E.J. Paddington opens the scoring. As he gets around the defenseman, makes it 1-0 North Stars.
Thunder Bay North Star School, his first in three season score number nine, E.J. Paddington. The assist to number 15, Matt Beasley. Time of that goal, 4.01. His first from Beasley at 4.01. One nothing lead. EJ Paddington at 401 from Beasley. Puck is tied up on the near side. Trying to free it up there was Larratt. Comes back to the line. That shot went wide of the goal. Picked up on the near side by Bell. Bell retrieves it again, carries the puck out to center, and dumps it in. Garen Boise. One of the veterans dressed tonight for the Thunder Bay North Stars. Not many of them in the lineup tonight. As LaBelle is inside his own zone, dumps the puck in deep. Swept away by Barron. Puck comes in front, back comes Thunder Bay. Kai Vanska leading the charge. Here's Vanska down the wing and a high shot. That is gloved by Travis Vanderswag. Kai Vanska, one of the players fighting for a spot in Junior A this year. Face off to the right of Vanderswag. In the near corner, Lemieux takes his man off the puck, comes to McCrate. Now Pedubny. Up ahead, Fagnili frees the puck up. McCrate tries to play it down low for Fagnili. Dubney lost the puck in his feet. Can't get it any further. Dunmore for Pedubney. Swept around the boards by Vanska. At the line, kept in by Kenna Vanthong. Buffone will lead the charge back the other way. North Stars, a 1-0 lead. A.J. Paddington has the opener, and that shot is vacuumed up by Vanderswag. And Glaucher getting into some pushing and shoving there with Cade McCrate. As these teams get reacquainted, 135 days ago in this building, the Walleye won their first Bill Salonen Cup championship in game seven. Walleye with high hopes of repeating this year and getting back to the final for a third straight year. Mintenko, puck comes around for Daxton Lang. In the near corner, Trahotis tries to throw the puck off the boards. Kept in by Lang. In the circle, Mintenko a pass, and that just went through the legs of Kobe Braham. Here's the goal scorer, Paddington. Mintenko keeps the play alive briefly. Comes to Bienvenu now. In the middle, Mintenko doesn't shoot. Now a shot. That stopped Braham, the rebound. And that's corralled as well by Barron. Here's Bienvenu. Mintenko had it go through his feet, and back comes Trahotis with Paddington, and just offside is E.J. Paddington. Tried to tightrope the blue line to E.J. Paddington, but he just got caught offside. Paddington from Beasley, the scoring play at 4.01 in the opening period. And a 1 0 North Star lead. Thunder Bay in green. Cam River in orange. These teams will kick off the regular season next weekend. Bryden Bell behind his own goal, gets away from two North Star attackers and carries out to center. Joins the play. Here's a centering feed that was behind Doucet, couldn't get a shot. Off the skate, LaBelle! And Barron forced to make a save as that shot looked innocent enough from LaBelle. Hit a skate, went into the goaltender, and a penalty upcoming. So slashing gonna be the call. It looked like that was Michael Canning that took the penalty. So the walleye on the power play for the first time tonight. Here's a centering feed, and that's just wide of the goal. Barron couldn't get the save there.
It's off to the Windsor penalty box to the North Stars number 19, Michael. Two minutes for slashing. Time of that penalty, 7.21. Canning for slashing at 7.21. This walleye power play brought to you by United Rentals. At centering feed, out of the reach. Here's Doucette. Near side pass. Centering feed. Podubny couldn't get a shot on goal. Went behind for Daxton Lang. Switches places with Doucette. Here's Lang. At the circle, that shot hit the side of the goal. Off the stick of Mintenko. Here's LaBelle at the blue line. Mintenko to LaBelle. No shot moving in. Doucette at the circle. That was tipped just wide by Lang. Set up behind the goal. Less than a minute to go in the power play. 1-0 North Stars. Thunder Bay can't clear the zone. Kept in by Cam River. Mintenko for Lang. Pedubny going to the front of the goal. Lang holding on to the puck at the line. LaBelle doesn't shoot. Now to Doucette. His shot into the glove of Ethan Barron. A good series there for the walleye on the power play. After the North Stars were unable to capitalize on their opening man advantage of the game. But they do get an even strength marker from E.J. Paddington at 4.01. Face off one by the North Stars. Buffone off the far boards, doesn't get out. LaBelle keeps it in. No shot there. Picked up by Buffone and tipped out to center. Trying to kill some time, the North Stars on this disadvantage. Dunmore dropping it for Fagnili. Back to Dunmore at the blue line, moving in and shooting. He scores! Kobe Braham, a seeing eye shot, ties the game. A power play marker for Kobe Braham, and it's a 1 1 game. Fighting walleye goal, score by number 27, Kobe Braham. The assist to number 23, Nicholas Fagnili. And to number 12, Jeremy Dunmore. Time of that power play goal, nine minutes, 15 seconds. That's Braham from Fagnili and Dunmore at 9.15. A 1-1 tie here at Norwest Arena. As Kobe Braham has the power play marker. Matching the even strength goal by E.J. Paddington. Puck in the middle of the ice. Dumped in by the North Stars, Miskis. Here's McCrate circling his own goal. Given away to Trehotis and Vanderswag covers up with traffic in front. E.J. Paddington at 4.01, and Kobe Braham on the power play at 9.15, and a 1-1 tie here in Norwest Arena. Face-off one by Thunder Bay to Paddington. Paddington comes out of the corner, tries to play it out front. Goes around back of the goal. Shot from the point, and that's vacuumed up by Vanderswag on the shot by Connor O'Brien. O'Brien coming over to the North Stars from the Fort Francis Lakers. In his final year of junior hockey. At least two graduating players in the lineup for the North Stars tonight. As that's covered up again by Vanderswag. Trehotis and O'Brien, the Two older players playing tonight. As mentioned, North Star is resting a number of older players. 
These two teams will hook it up tomorrow night inside Fort William First Nation Arena. Eight o'clock will be puck drop in that one. While I will start the regular season in this building, North Stars will begin their schedule on the road. Buffone wraps it around for Trehotis. Trying to play it down deep for Paddington. Picked up there by Liang and a penalty upcoming. As Hooking's going to be the call and it looks like Paddington's going to get it. As he pleads his case to the referee. Walleye power play one for one gets another chance to take the lead this time. It's off to the Windsor Plywood penalty box to the North Stars number nine, E.J. Paddington. Two minutes for hooking, time of that penalty, 10.46. Paddington hooking at 10.46. This walleye power play brought to you by United Rentals. Less than nine to go in the opening period. Puck given away. Short-handed is Canning. Can't get a shot on goal. Trahotis. Dumps the puck back in as the walleye power play has to regroup. EJ Paddington at 401. Toby Braham at 915 on a power play. 1-1 one, one the score, as you can see at the top of your screen. Here is Fagnelli on the near side. Cross the ice pass, moving in, no shot there. From Braham, the goal scorer. Fagnelli. At the line, LaBelle doesn't shoot. Dunmore at the circle. Across the ice. Braham through traffic. And right was dumped in front. Puck went wide. Here's Dunmore. LaBelle moving in his Braham. Takes a bump off the puck. Down to 40 seconds in the power play. Dunmore moves in and shoots. That's stopped by Barron. And picked up by the North Stars. Fired off the glass and... Look out, Vanderswag had to be careful of that one. Took an unusual hop here at Norwest Arena. Padubny starts the attack out to center. Drops for Mintenko, who's got some speed through center. Doucette. Play it around for Fagnelli. At the line, Bell, no shot. Moving in is Doucette. Doucette tried a cross-ice pass, broken up by Dixon. And backhanded out. Final seconds of the power play ticking off. Here's Bell. Ahead for Pedubny. Back to even strength are the North Stars. Bell. High rising shot and Barron will glove it and cover up for a faceoff. Nice to have you on YouTube tonight, wherever you happen to be watching or listening to this one. First meeting of the season between these two. It is only the preseason, of course. Face off to the right of Barron. Back to the line for Liang. Moving in, Bienvenu, that shot. Barron makes the save, side of the goal, and he has to cover the puck up to the side. And force a face-off. Face-off picked up by the walleye. At the line, Bienvenu, his shot hit his stick, went wide. Comes around back of the goal there for Duchesne. On the near side, poked ahead. North Stars get it out to center. Glauscher moving in and shooting a good blocking arm save there by Vanderswag. One-one our score. 
North Stars playing their first preseason game. Walleye playing their sixth. Fourth game in this building. Liang trying the cross ice pass, nearly broken up by Duchesne. Picked up there by Miskis. Near side Lemieux. Liang trying to get away from trouble. Puck picked up by Miskis. Centering feed, Trahotis moving in, Paddington a shot, Vanderswag makes the save, somehow finds it. It was under Max Wright and Vanderswag forced to make the save. The North Stars will engage in a four game road trip to open the regular season. They'll play their home opener on October 6th against the Ice Dogs. McCrate, right, has to hold the blue line. Now he carries in, knocked down for his efforts. Buffone plays it high off the glass, out of the reach of Paddington. And he pushes it in deep. Kinnavan Thung. Puck on the near side for right. Ahead for McCrate. Cade McCrate dropping for Doucette. Now McCrate in the corner again. Round back of the goal, Paddington ties up McCrate. 5.13 to go in the opening period. 1-1 the score. Paddington even strength for the North Stars. Braham on a power play for the walleye. Here's Bell, centering feed. That's through the legs of Doucette. Chopped up by McCrate, couldn't hold the line. He's tied up by Paddington. And EJ Paddington tried to get the return feed. Takes it in the near corner, shouldered off the puck there by Dunmore. Padubny, Doucette, tried the drop ice pass. Canning couldn't corral it. And picked up again by Michael Canning. Canning, a pass ahead for Dixon. Dropping it there for Doherty. Doherty takes a bump on, on the boards. Four and a half to go in the period. And the net is knocked ajar, which will force the face off. Outside of walleye territory. North Stars next weekend will play the Bombers Friday and Saturday. And they will head to Kenora to play the Expansion Islanders, who have a new name. They are now known as the Kenora Devil's Gap Islanders. September 30th and October 1st, those two games. Again, their home opener at the Gardens will be October 6th uh, against Dryden. At the side of the goal, Jones drawing a penalty loose at the side of the goal. And Keegan Jones draws a hooking penalty. Power play coming up for Thunder Bay. As Jet Mintanko will take the holding call, I stand corrected. Second power play of the game for the Thunder Bay North Stars. It's off to the Windsor Plywood penalty box to the walleye number 17, Jet Mintanko. Two minutes for holding. Time of that penalty, 15.49. Mintanko holding at 15.49. Second power play of the game for the North Stars. They have an even strength marker from E.J. Paddington. Walleye answered on the power play with Kobe Braham. Jones dumps the puck in. Liang trying to free that puck up, played off the boards and past Beasley. And offside at the line is Braham shorthanded as he has a quick conversation with the North Star defender, Matt Beasley. Minute 21 to go in the penalty to Mintanko for holding.
Dunmore takes the draw against Glaucher. Won by the North Stars. Trahotis tips it out to center for Lemieux. Rims it around the boards. Boise couldn't hold the line. Glaucher has to go back to get it. Connor O'Brien retrieves. O'Brien. Boise. Picked up by Duchesne, shorthanded. McCrate couldn't get it out, gets a second opportunity. And he will take his time and fire that puck down the ice. 45 seconds to go in the power play. E.J. Paddington and Kobe Braham, your goal scorers. First preseason game for the North Stars, sixth for the Walleye. North Stars able to walk in, Vanderswag makes the save, rebound, scores! Easton Glaucher on the power play. Gives the North Stars the lead. It didn't look like a play that would amount to much for the North Stars, but they took advantage and regained the lead. North Stars power play goal, score by number 28, Easton Glaucher. The assist to number 17, Connor O'Brien. Time of that goal, 17-20 on the power play. That's Glaucher from O'Brien at 17-20 on the power play. And some pushing and shoving on the far side of the ice as you don't have to tell these two teams it's just preseason. So we'll see what gets sorted out here. Right now it looks like just Sam Sargent is going. So another power play for the North Stars. After they just took the lead on the Easton Glaucher goal at 17-20. Mintanko played off the board, shorthanded. Here comes Kobe Braham trying to get around the defenseman and Barron's forced to make a save. It's off to the Windsor Plywood penalty box to the fighting walleye number 22, Sam Sargent. Two minutes for holding. Time of that penalty, 17.48. Sargent holding at 17.48. Here's McCrate. Picked up by the walleye and played down the ice. 96 seconds to go in the first period. Easton Glaucher has the go-ahead goal at 17.20. Here comes Canning, dropping it for Buffone. That shot was blocked. Picked up by Braham and played down the ice. Slashing going to be the call. So 54 seconds of four on four action. Fifty-four seconds of four on four. <laughs> so lots of open ice coming up here at Norwest Arena. Two-one North Star lead. 
Easton Glauscher has the go-ahead goal on the power play at 17-20. And Carter Dixon has just gone off for, I believe, slashing. As they're just sorting things out at the in the timekeeper's booth. Waiting for the penalty time to get up on the clock. Walleye will open the season next Friday and Saturday in this building against the Red Lake Miners. 7.30 puck drop for both games. So, Tim Ballant is over at the players' benches explaining what's happening. It's off to the Windsor Plywood penalty box to the North Stars number five, Carter Dixon. Two minutes for slashing time of that penalty, 1841. That's Dixon slashing at 1841. Four on four action. North Stars will get a brief power play to wrap up this period and start the second. Kept in by LaBelle at the line. Last minute of play in the first period. 2-1 North Star lead. And Barron not gonna take a chance here. Another penalty upcoming. And it looks like cross-checking gonna be the call. So now even more open ice as this complicates things a little bit. Chase Ellis getting the penalty. It's off to the Windsor Plywood penalty box to the North Stars number eight, Chase Ellis. Two minutes for cross-checking. Time of that penalty, 19.09. Ellis cross-checking at 19.09. This walleye power play brought to you by United Rentals. So four on three to wrap up this opening period and a 2-1 Thunder Bay lead. Barron makes the save and covers up, no rebound. So 17 seconds to go in the original penalty. For the fighting wall line. Dunmore will take the draw for the wall line. And he wins it against Easton Miskus. At the line bell, moving in Dunmore. Holds and shoots. Barron makes a save. Hangs on and takes a bump for his efforts. Puck out of play brought to you by Recycle West. 19.8 on the clock here in period one. Again, first preseason game for the Thunder Bay North Stars. The Walleye have five games under their belt. None of them against the Superior League. Manderswag. Up ahead for Bell. Bell. Onto the stick there of Caden Goodwin. And that's offside at the North Star line. 7.4 to go on the clock here in period one. EJ Paddington and Easton Glauscher with the two North Star goals. Kobe Braham has found the back of the net on the power play. And a lot of open ice to start period number two. As the North Stars lead the walleye two to one, the SIJHL preseason.
And welcome back inside Norwest Arena, getting set for the start of the second period between the Cam River Fighting Walleye and Thunder Bay North Stars. First preseason game for the North Stars, six for the Fighting Walleye. These two teams will hook up tomorrow night inside Fort William First Nation Arena. Note the puck drop in that game. It'll be eight o'clock. EJ Paddington started the scoring at 401 with the assist to Matt Beasley to make it one nothing. Walleye answered on a power play, Kobe Braham at 915 from Nicholas Fagnili and Jeremy Dunmore. And the North Stars would compile a power play goal of their own. Easton Glauscher at 17-20 from Connor O'Brien to make it a 2-1 score. Shots on goal in that first period for the Walleye, 17. The North Stars, 15. And both teams have a goal on the power play. Walleye will continue on a 5-on-3 for 41 seconds. Paddington wins the draw back to O'Brien. Lots of time to kill here. Here's Wright at the line bell. Braham doesn't shoot down low for Dunmore. Dunmore back to the blue line, watched by Boise. Holds the puck, quick shot by Braham, high off the glass and Karam's out to center. Less than 20 seconds to go in the five on three. North Stars with a two one lead. The go ahead goal on a power play by Glauscher. Here is Dunmore at the blue line, moving in is Braham, a high wrist shot, he missed again. Here's Fagnili, back to Braham, gets another chance, pass in front through the legs of right. And back on the ice is Carter Dixon. Down to five on four. Bell leaves it for right. Max Wright carries up over the line, drops for Fagnili. Gets the return feed in the corner. Fagnili moves in, doesn't shoot. Cross ice pass for Braham. Braham moves in, now he shoots. And that's a blocking arm save and out of play by Barron. Puck out of play brought to you by Recycle West. Minute 10 gone in the period. A 2-1 North Star lead. Face off to the right of Barron. Dixon will take it against Jeremy Dunmore. Check that Mintanko. Comes to Daxton Lang. Power play time is over. North Stars kill it off. Back comes Max Buffone the other way. With Trahotis. Tries the cross ace pass. That was behind Miskus. Duchesne. Up ahead for Daxton Lang. Mintanko. Padubny has to tag up on the delayed offside. Miskus. Near side. Poked in there by Dixon. Takes a big bump and Dixon slow to get to his feet. Now he does and he'll go right to the bench. Here is Lang. Drop pass Mintenko. That pass for Padubny. That was broken up. And back comes Carter Anton. Drops it at the blue line. No shot. Now Trehotis. Down low for Anton. Gets away from Kinnavanthong. And it's broken up. Carried out to center by Cam River. Here's Padubny up over the line. He's got a man all over him and takes a few shots there. Loose puck now for Larratt. Larratt dumps the puck in. North Stars in green. Walleye in orange. That puck is corralled by goaltender Vanderswag. Tonight is a special night for the Fighting Walleye family. It's our appreciation night for our sponsors, Billet Families and Season Ticket Holders. Without your continued support, we would not have walleye hockey in all of Ripapoonj. We thank you. Face off corral by Cam River. Goodwin. Pass out to center. That was behind Sargent. And backhanded in North Star territory. Goodwin. Lost the puck off his skate. Larratt. Couldn't clear it out. Kept in by Goodwin near side. Cross ice pass looking near for Duchesne. And picked up by Matt Beasley, who had an assist on the opening goal by EJ Paddington at 4.01 in the first period. Beasley 
for Ellis. Pass at center on the stick of Larratt. Goodwin. That pass picked off and fired down the ice by Tanjiga. Walleye inside their own territory. North Stars keep the play alive. Keegan Jones, the attacker on that one. And Boise has to go back to get it. Boise's pass picked up by Liang. Right. Tried to play it out front, broken up by the North Stars. Well, I will try again. Here's Bell. Doucette takes a bump for his efforts, and the North Stars clear the puck down the ice. And the foot race is won by Kim River as Ryan Doucette is adjusting equipment. Thought he was a little worse for wear after that hit, but he is not. off to the right of Barron. Picked up by the walleye. Bell plays it in deep. Picked up there by O'Brien. Played off the near glass. Penalty upcoming. And this is going against Cam River. Slashing the call. And it looks like Bell's going to get it. Just waiting to get the time up on the clock for the penalty. There were some technical issues with the clock here at Norwest Arena to wrap up the period. The off-ice officials working hard to keep things running here. As Bell is off for slashing, and it looks like they're just going to tell the teams the time and not even worry about it. So at 13.55, Bryden Bell will return to the ice unless there is a power play goal for the North Stars. It's off to the Windsor Plywood penalty box to the walleye number seven, Bryden Bell. Two minutes for slashing. Time of that penalty, 4.05. Bell for slashing at 4.05. At the penalty will end at 13.55. Yeah. Here is Boise. Up through center. Again, as announced in-house, pending a power play goal, the walleye will be back to even strength at 13.55. That shot stopped by Vanderswag, rebound, and the walleye goaltender squeezing his equipment against the pads and makes the save. Face off again to the right of Vanderswag. 2 1 lead. Easton Glaucher has the go ahead goal. On a power play at 17-20. Here come the walleye shorthanded. Sam Sargent, a pass in front and a great save by Barron. On the one-time shot by Jet Mintenko. That was Kobe Braham shorthanded. It looked like Sam Sargent. Here's Paddington with a shot on the power play went wide. Max Buffone. And picked up again. Back comes Braham again. And a big hit at center as Bienvenu gets knocked off his feet. Here is Carter Anton. One of the returnees for the North Stars. Up ahead for Trehotis. Trehotis. Paddington. He's tied up by LaBelle. Caleb LaBelle spending last season with Slumberjacks. Picked up in a deal in the offseason, and that is offside against Thunder Bay. Fans, as you may have noticed, we have introduced by popular demand assigned seating. Make sure you get the seat you want by purchasing tickets online before the game 
at FightingWalleye.com. You can catch the home opener on Friday night, next Friday night, September 22nd, as the Walleye hosts the Red Lake Miners. Note the start time, 7.30. Face off one by the wall line. Again, 13.55 on the game clock is when Bryden Bell will return to the ice. Some technical issues in the building with the penalties up on the clock. Here's a quick shot. That's well wide of the goal, kept in at the line by Chase Ellis. Final seconds of the power play tick off. Bell is off as that puck is fired down the ice. Here's Wright. Tied up there with Beasley. Wright comes out of the corner, gets a backhand away, and a good save by Barron. Duchesne shoulders his man off the puck, and that's going to go for icing against the North Stars. Again, to start the regular season, the North Stars will jump on the bus, and the Walleye will welcome the Red Lake Miners. Next Friday and Saturday, 22nd and 23rd of September. We'll talk about the North Stars schedule as the period goes on. A four game road trip for them before they open things up at home. Pass back to the blue line, Liang, a shot through traffic, rebound is there and Barron covers up with Max Wright right on the doorstep and both teams getting reacquainted with each other. For the North Stars, the season will start in Sioux Lookout next Friday and Saturday, 22nd and 23rd. And then the North Stars' first trip to Kenora to take on the expansion Devil's Gap Islanders. The Kenora Devils Gap Islanders this season. As that shot goes high and wide, second team in the league to have a sponsor in its name, along with the Dryden GM Ice Dogs. September 30th and October 1st, those two games in Kenora as there's a low hit in the walleye zone, Liang on the receiving end of it. North Stars will play their home opener October 6th against Dryden. And going slowly to the bench there was Cole Frazier. Might have taken a stick up high. Here's Doucette playing it away from Jones. O'Brien couldn't crowd the puck pass up front for Doucette. He fires it wide. Ryan Doucette with a very good opportunity to tie the game at two. Back comes Thunder Bay the other way, led by Larratt. Tried to center it through the goal mouth. And Pudubny will play it back for Bell. Carter Pudubny gets a return feed from Doucette. Tries to go around the defenseman. And that's broken up by Max Buffone. Walleye play it out to center. 2-1 North Star lead here in the second period. Sixth preseason game for the Walleye. Two and three is their record. North Stars playing their first of only two before they start their regular season. On the near side, Kai Vanskas shouldered off the puck by Dunmore. And a pass ahead. Bagnelli, Dunmore, cross ice pass, but Dubny and a good pad save there by Barron. Here's McCrate. Fagnili tried to pass it cross ice for Kenavan Thong. And the wall, I have to watch that change and not get drawn offside. 11 minutes to go in the period. All three goals coming in the first period. Paddington and Easton Gloucher on a power play. Kobe Braham on the man advantage himself and that is gloved by Vanderswag. These two teams will hook up again tomorrow night inside Fort William First Nation Arena. Eight o'clock puck drop. And again, the walleye will 
play their home opener next Friday, September 22nd against the Red Lake Miners. Friday and Saturday doubleheader. And then they'll play three in a row over two separate weekends in Fort Francis. On the near side, here's Kenna Van Thong. Pass for Mintanko. Up through center is Daxton Lang, far side. Lang up over the blue line. Gets around the defenseman. He's knocked down. Picked up by Paddington. Pass ahead. Here's Trehotis getting by the defenseman. Trehotis and a glove saved by Vanderswag. Dimitri Trehotis was in home free but couldn't beat the glove of Vanderswag. Faceoff won by the walleye. Here is Bienvenu. Up ahead for Sam Sargent. Over the line. Sargent and a good pad save there by Barron. Kept in by Sargent. Around the boards for Duchesne in the far corner. Duchesne looking for a pass out front. And that splits the defenseman back down the ice. Edwin Liang. Far side for Duchesne. Touch pass for Sargent. Sam Sargent can't get a shot. Tried to play it out front. Had Voicey draped all over him at the line. LaBelle can't get a shot on goal. Here's Liang through traffic. And a good eye there by Ethan Barron to make the save. So I mentioned that walleye three games in a row against the Lakers. The first one is Friday, September 29th in Fort Francis. And then the following Friday, Saturday, October 6th and 7th. All three games, 7.30 local time. Daylight saving doesn't kick in. So of course an hour difference between Thunder Bay and Fort Francis. Right, tied up on the boards with Buffone. Here's Doucette. Buffone is able to push the puck out to center. Max Wright is forced back inside his own line. Jones backhands it in deep. 8.53 to go, second period. 2-1 North Stars. Easton Glaucher with the go-ahead goal on a power play at 17.20 the opening period. Here's Trehotis. Larrett in on the attack as well. Back to Anton. Anton, that shot by Buffone, blocked fearlessly by Wright. Buffone, no shot there from Jones. Takes a shoulder. Jones, off the boards, Larrett, his shot goes wide. Lanton at the blue line. Played around. Fanning on the shot there was Vanska. Vanska knocked down. Anton couldn't direct the puck towards the goal. And now Ryan Doucette trying to reorganize things. Outlet feed. And there's a quick shot into the glove of goaltender Barron by Frazier. Here's Beasley. Through center, dumps the puck in. With a 2-1 lead. Thunder Bay North Stars in green. Cam River Fighting Walleye in orange. Superior International Junior Hockey League preseason action. Again, first preseason game for the North Stars, sixth for the Fighting Walleye. Here's Fagnili, a centering feed, and unable to finish was Podubny. At the line, McCrate moves in and shoots a good pad safe through traffic. Podubny on the near side, picked up by the North Stars. Rim kept in, Podubny loose in the crease, and Barron wisely covers up as Dunmore and Fagnili were both knocked down in front. These 
teams will wrap up the preseason tomorrow night inside Fort William First Nation Arena. Eight o'clock puck drop. Ice is set to go in at the Fort William Gardens in early October. It'll be ready. Till then, the North Stars are on the move. And in the near corner, Pedubny. Knocked down by O'Brien. And played out to center. Here's Paddington. On the near side, trying to get away from Kenavan Thong. He's tied up nicely. Centering feed, knocked down by Dunmore. Six and a half to go in the second period. Still 2-1 North Stars. Here's Voicy. Inside his own line. Outlet feed there looking for Trehotis. And that was knocked down on the stick of Miscus. Voicy at the line. Paddington lost control of the puck. And now the walleye work out to center. Bienvenue. Back to Liang. Liang, a shot directed away by Barron. Daxton Lang. Mintenko for Lang. On the far corner. Now Voicy works out to center. Daxton Lang lost his stick in the North Star zone. Voicy spins in the corner. Looks to center it. Back comes Cam River the other way. And Daxton Lang forced to spin at the red line. Here's Bienvenu holding the line. Bienvenu a shot. And Barron makes the save. Puck back handed around the glass. North Stars rimming around near side. Kept in. Here's Braham. With the first period power play goal for the walleye. Puck comes out to center. Knocking that down is Doherty. He stopped at the blue line. And Caleb LaBelle will dump it in. LaBelle centering it. No orange sweater there. Back comes Anton. Carter Anton through center. Over the line, his shot. Hit something and went wide of the goal. Bell turns it back the other way. Goodwin. Picked up by the North Stars. Tangata. He's stymied at his own blue line. And now Canning. Buffone. Outlet feed. That's knocked down by Goodwin. And the puck goes right into Travis Vanderswag and he will hang on. A good sized crowd on hand here at Norwest Arena for the last preseason game in this building. Before it all starts for real next Friday, September 22nd. Fighting Walleye and Red Lake Miners to open the regular season. In this building, honor the past Bill Salonen Cup champion Walleye. And at some point, a tribute to Dayton Clark who lost his life tragically in a car accident right around the Centennial Cup. Picked up by the wall line. Puck is given away. Taken back by Sargent. Sargent takes a shoulder there from Jones. At the line, here's Buffone. Sidesteps a check, gets it in deep for Jones. Around back of the goal. Tangata. For Jones. Jones tries the wrap around. Vanderswag had the answer there. Now McCrate. Three and a half to go in period two. Goodwin over the line. He's got Duchesne. Goodwin trying to split the defenseman. Couldn't do it. Here's McCrate working behind the North Star goal. Takes a shoulder from Buffone. Hawk is freed up. Max Buffone lost his stick. Here's Wright, centering it in off the skate of Goodwin. And forced out to center by Thunder Bay. Hit on the near side on Max Wright. North Stars inside their own territory with a one goal lead. Liang, 
Bouncing puck for Bienvenu. Tries to play it ahead for Max Wright. Knocked down. Here's Doucette. A pass for Wright and a good glove save by Ethan Barron. For those of age, head on up to the Sleeping Giant Lounge and grab yourself a cold, crisp, and refreshing Fighting Walleye Power Play Pilsner. And fans, a reminder, the ultimate duck race in support of our kids count is now on May 4th, 2024. For more details, head on over to ourkidscount.ca. Ace off to the left of Barron. Here is Doucette in the near corner. Picked up by Paddington. Trying to play it ahead for Trehotis. Liang back to get it. On the near side, right. Stopped there by O'Brien. Vanderswag leaves it for Liang. Ryan Doucette forced inside his own territory by Trehotis. A pass for Paddington at the circle. Puts it high and wide. E.J. Paddington with the opening goal in tonight's game. Looking for another one. Gets the giveaway and fires it just wide. Paddington, third time's the charm sometimes. But not this time as the walleye carried out to center and beyond. And that shot into the glove of Barron. Off the stick of Cole Frazier. This is the first audition for the North Star Brass. Again, they'll have one more preseason game tomorrow before deciding on their roster ahead of the trip to Sioux Lookout. Shot at the line by Bell. Stymied away. Puck went up high. Goodwin. Fagnelli spins in the corner. Corrals the puck back to Bryden Bell. Bell couldn't get a shot on goal. Rimmed around for Dunmore. Minute 20 to go in the period. Still 2-1 North Stars. Here's Bell. Saucers it into the middle. Picked up by Thunder Bay. And kept in. Nice play by Dunmore. And he's quickly turned back. And that shot is corralled by Travis Vanderswag. 63 seconds to go here in period two. And Caleb LaBelle is going to get a cross-checking penalty here. At 18.57 of the second period. Last minute of play in the second period. It's off to the Windsor Plywood penalty box to the Fighting Walleye number 16, Caleb LaBelle. Two minutes for cross-checking. Time of that penalty, 18.57. LaBelle cross-checking at 18.57. Walleye with a late power play here in period two. That shot through some traffic. And the former Kings goaltender has to navigate through all those bodies to make the save. Only five returnees for the North Stars dressed tonight. Meanwhile, the walleye lineup is nearly set after five games. At the line is Voise. Can't get a shot. Moving in is Chase Ellis with that shot. On the near side is Tandiga. Gets a return feed, trying to play it back for Boise. He does. Power play continues. Poked ahead. Pass out front and a chance. They score! On the power play, Connor Larratt, what looked like a walleye clearing attempt, turns into the 3-1 marker. Thank you. 
Second power play goal of the game and a 3-1 North Star lead. A 3-1 North Star lead. A pair of power play goals heading to the third period. You're watching the SIJHL on YouTube.
Back inside Norwest Arena, getting set for the start of the third period between the Canberra Fighting Walleye in orange and the Thunder Bay North Stars in green. The first preseason game for the North Stars, sixth for the Fighting Walleye. Just one goal in that second period, and it came late on a power play. Off the stick of Connor Larratt from Keegan Jones and Garen Voicey to make it a 3-1 North Star lead heading to the third period. Fighting Walleye will skate left to right across your television and computer screen heading into the third period of play. In their Oliver Papoonge orange with the black and white trim, the North Stars in their usual home green with the white, black, and yellow trim. Shots on goal in that second period, 17 apiece, 34-32 the game total in favor of Cam River. And the North Stars have converted twice on the power play. The walleye only goal has come on the man advantage. Ethan Barron has been pretty solid in the North Star goal tonight. Stopping 33 of 34 that he has faced. And at the other end, Travis Vanderswag with 29 saves on 32 shots that he has faced through 40 minutes. Power play will continue to start this third period, it looks like. No, both teams are back to five on five. And they're going to drop the puck and continue this period. North Stars with a two-goal lead. These two teams will hook up again tomorrow night inside Fort William First Nation Arena. 8 o'clock puck drop will be that one. It'll be a home game for the North Stars. Paddington off the boards. Looks like training help is needed for Cade McCrate, who went right into the right into the net. So holding gonna be the call. And just sorting out, it looks like Max Wright's going to serve the penalty because McCrate went off the ice injured. And again, because the time won't be up on the clock, it'll be all there on the clock. Again, there has been some technical issues with the clock here at Norwest Arena. Conversation going on at the North Star bench. So contrary to what the clock says, it is a five on four for the North Stars. And they've just removed the time up on the clock. And going back to the North Star bench. Thunder Bay will start the season with four games on the road. Next Friday and Saturday in Sioux Lookout. The following Friday and Saturday. In Kenora. To take on the Expansion Islanders. A lot of work that program has done to get up and rolling for this season. Played a number of preseason games. And anxious to play their home opener against the Wisconsin Lumberjacks next Friday, the 22nd. 
It's off to the Windsor Plywood penalty box to the fighting walleye number 53, Cade McCrate. Two minutes for holding. Time of that penalty, 30 seconds. McCrate holding at 30 seconds, serving the minors number 77, Max Wright. North Stars have converted twice on the power play tonight. Hoping for a third, a two goal lead here in their preseason opener. Here's Bell, off the near boards, Dunmore doesn't get it out, and it's carried now, shorthanded by Fagnili, who fires it just wide of the goal. Corralled by Connor O'Brien, who still has the red gloves of the Fort Francis Lakers, where he played last season. Paddington, a centering pass, nobody home there. Buffone trying to play it back to the blue line. Back comes Lang, shorthanded with Duchesne. Lang, a saucer pass, Duchesne, and a good save by Barron. As the walleye veterans combine to nearly get the walleye within one. Here's Buffone for Carter Anton, far side. And Anton will rim the puck around the boards and lose his footing. Here is Dixon in the corner, trying to center it there for Canning at the line. That's played just wide, rebound, side of the goal, and Vanderswag squeezes the equipment and hangs on. Two ten gone in the third period. 25 seconds left in the man advantage for the North Stars, who lead 3-1 to one on the strength of an E.J. Paddington even strength marker. And a pair on the power play by Easton Glousher and Connor Larratt. Kobe Braham has the lone walleye goal on the man advantage. Final seconds of the penalty ticking off. Max Wright serving it as McCrate went off with an injury. North Stars trying to work out to center. Pedubny stops the attack there. Here is Braham working up over the blue line, holds onto the puck, tries to sweep it in front, gets a return feed. That shot stopped by Barron. And back comes Carter Anton the other way. Anton, knocked down by Pedubny. Pedubny for the walleye, spins away from a check, tries to play it back for Ken of Anthong. Pass ahead, here comes Larratt, who has the second power play goal in this game, taken down. Ken of Anthong tipped off the glass by Mintenko. Matt Beasley back inside his own territory. Tipped ahead by Tendiga. Up ahead for Wright. Max Wright near side. Into the corner. Gets away from Beasley. Jones steals the puck. And a cross ice pass there for Larrick. Connor Larrick working to the front of the goal. Larrick gets a shot and a blocking arm saved by Vanderswag. Max Wright the other way. With help. Wright tries to play it across for Doucette. And right taken down on the near side. Back comes Thunder Bay the other way. A two-on-one chance stopped by Vanderswag. Rebound, and he stops that two as Glosher tries the wraparound chance off the post. A series of chances for the North Stars to go up by three. Denied by Vanderswag twice in the post a third time. Here is right. Back comes Thunder Bay. Glousher leads the charge again. And that pass just behind the stick of Lemieux. Here is Wright the other way. Goodwin. That shot by Liang was blocked en route. Comes back to Goodwin. And Thunder Bay able to work out to center. Glousher. High rising shot off the glass. Impressive saves made by Vanderswag to keep this a two goal game. Here is Bell. Bell 
Taken down on a hit by Buffone. Physical play picking up here in period three. Here is Sargent. Stick check there. Bryden Bell trying to work through center. Pass on the near side for Duchesne. Lost it in his feet. Regains control. Duchesne trying to push it ahead. Sargent's shot was blocked. And back on the North Stars the other way. Partial break perhaps for Pennington. Toe drags. Gets a shot on goal. He scores. E.J. Paddington makes it a 4-1 game. Second goal of the game for E.J. Paddington. Makes it a 4-1 Thunder Bay lead. Thunder Bay North Stars goal, his second of the game, scored by number nine, E.J. Paddington. The assist to number four, Max Buffone. Time of that goal, five minutes, 40 seconds. Paddington second from Buffone at five minutes, 40 seconds. North Stars back up over the line. Here's Dunmore ahead. Padubny stymied in front of the bench, and Dunmore checks his man to the ice. Fagnili up ahead. Dunmore works through center. Jeremy Dunmore a long shot. That's blockered away by Barron. Pedubny picks it up. Tries to play it through the goal mouth. Nobody there. The Envenu shot gloved down by Barron. Voicey up ahead there for Doherty. He dumps it in and Vanderswag had to be careful with that one. He stopped it with the stick. Lost it between his legs and... Thought he better fall on top of it to avoid further disaster. Paddington from Buffoni at 540 makes it a 4-1 North Star lead. In their preseason opener. Sixth preseason game for the Walleye. Another penalty upcoming. As Liang is going to get caught here for high sticking. It looks like offsetting miners for high sticking. At 655. So high sticking the call for both sides it looks like. So some four on four action here at Norwest Arena. It's off to the Windsor Plywood penalty box to the fighting walleye number eight, Edwin Liang. And to the North Stars number 24, Cohen Tangata. Two minutes each for high sticking. Time of those penalties, 6.55. Liang and Tangata for high sticking at 6.55. And it looks like a delayed offside, perhaps, against the wall line. Which will force the face off back inside Cam River territory. These teams will hook up again at Fort William First Nation Arena tomorrow night at 8 o'clock to conclude the preseason. Second audition. Puck out of play, brought to you by Recycle West. Last audition for the North Stars and Walleye before both teams open the regular season. All eight teams in action next Friday night to open the Superior International Junior Hockey League season. One by the North Stars. O'Brien's shot was blocked. Connor O'Brien holds the line temporarily. Picked up by Braham. 
Mintenko lost it in feet. Braham knocks his man off the puck. 12.20 to go here in regulation. North Stars lead, 4-1, to one. look out. As Braham lined his man up and instead ran into Bryden Bell. Here is Bell, minute left to go in four on four action. Paddington with a pair of goals here tonight, both even strength. And two more from the visitors in green on the power play. Walleye lone goal courtesy of Kobe Braham on the man advantage. Back in the first period, here's Glauscher, gets around the defenseman and a good save by Travis Vanderswag. Eleven forty-three to go here in period three. Four-one North Star lead at the line. High rising shot knocked down by Vanderswag, picked up by Daxton Lang. Lang with Goodwin and a good hip check there by Beasley. Taking his man off the puck. Here's McCrate. Down low. Goodwin circles the goal. Tries to play it out front. They score. I'm not sure if this hit a stick or a skate. But it's a two-goal game. Fighting walleye goal, score by number 91, Caden Goodwin. The assist to number 53, Cade McCrate. Time of that goal, 8 minutes, 42 seconds. That's Goodwin from McCrate at 8.42. And a two-goal game with still plenty of time to go in this one. High sticking negated. Here come the North Stars again. Up over the line. Holding and shooting. A good save by Vanderswag. On the shot by Miskus. Down low Trehotis. Takes a bump there from right. Paddington. Knocks his man off the puck. Picked up by Bell. Max Wright. Played into the near corner. Bryden Bell tries to catch up to it. And rimmed around the boards for Wright. Max Wright sidesteps a check. And the North Stars are going to take a penalty for tripping. As Max Buffone goes off. At 10 minutes of the third period. With that walleye goal. Cam River has outscored Thunder Bay all time, 129 to 103. It's off to the Windsor Plywood penalty box to the North Stars number four, Max Buffone, two minutes for tripping. Time of that penalty, 10 minutes. Buffone tripping at 10 minutes. This walleye power play brought to you by United Rentals. Here's Liang. Braham, back to Liang, couldn't... Handle the return pass and fired back down the ice by Canning. A two goal game. Caden Goodwin has the latest marker for Cam River. Here's Wright. Fagnili gets a return feed, moves in, doesn't shoot. To Liang. Now Dunmore. No shot. Fagnili gets a return one time shot away, and that's turned aside by Barron. Braham for Liang at the circle, a shot, Dunmore, what a save on the goal line, that shot is stopped as well. 
Barron holds his ground and keeps it a two goal game. What a chance for the North Stars or the Walleye to make it a one goal game. But Ethan Barron does everything in his power to say no. Here is Daxton Lang the other way. Crowd still buzzing from that opportunity. Here's Doucette at the line, broken up by the North Stars. Back the other way. Here's a chance shorthanded for Tangata off the post. Penalty upcoming. And the walleye touch the puck. And there might be more as extracurricular activities break out after this whistle. The initial penalty was going to Cam River. As Tangata broke in. On a shorthanded breakaway. So, so far, Ryan Doucette and Bryden Bell have gone off for the fighting walleye. We'll see if anybody goes off for the North Stars. These two teams do not like each other, even if it is preseason. It's a great rivalry for the Superior League. These two clubs had a terrific Bill Salonen Cup final last year. And seven head-to-head -head matchups between these two this season. Again, they'll wrap up the preseason tomorrow night at the Fort William First Nation Arena. That'll be an 8 o'clock puck drop. And then it all starts for real next Friday night. Walleye will play their home opener against the Red Lake Miners on the 22nd. History in Kenora as the Islanders will host the Wisconsin Lumberjacks. Thunder Bay North Stars find themselves in Sioux Lookout to play the Bombers. And that leaves just Dryden and Fort Francis to hook up the opening weekend of the regular season. North Stars will play their home opener at the Gardens on the 6th of October against Dryden. After the two home games for the Fighting Walleye, they'll play three in a row against the Fort Francis Lakers. 29th of September. And then October 6th and 7th. And four minutes going up on the clock for Cam River. So an extended power play coming up for Thunder Bay with the score 4-2. And it looks like Jesse Messier is now having a conversation with referee Eddie Young.
It's off to the Windsor Plywood penalty box to the Thunder Bay North Stars number 10, Keegan Jones. Two minutes for roughing. And to the Fighting Walleye number 7, Bryden Bell. Two minutes for holding and two minutes for roughing. And to the Fighting Walleye number 14, Ryan Doucette. Two minutes for head contact and a 10-minute misconduct. Time of all those penalties, 11 minutes, 37 seconds. So a power play for the North Stars. A double minor. Connor O'Brien will try and regroup the North Star power play, which has scored twice tonight. And lead 4-2. Puck comes around far side, and that gets by Carter Anton down the ice. O'Brien back to get it. One of two 20-year-olds in the North Star lineup tonight. Came over in a deal with Fort Francis. And that puck is fired down the ice again. First two minutes almost gone. Bell and Doucette off for the walleye. Puck comes in front and unable to fire at home was Miskus. In the corner, Paddington. Set up behind the goal. Trehotis trying to free it up. Plays it back to the line for Buffone. No shot. In the circle. Here's Trehotis. Gets a shot. Just missed the far post. Boise. Centering feed. Trehotis fired it back behind the goal. Picked up by Dunmore. He couldn't clear it out. Bouncing puck. Paddington. Up ahead for Trehotis. Couldn't get a shot on goal. McCrate. Voicey moves in. First two minutes gone in the power play. Here is Voicey. At the circle. He's knocked down. Paddington. Takes a bump from McCrate. Voicey picks it up in the corner. North Star still working with the man advantage. Pass back for Trehotis. That rising shot over, over the goal. Paddington centering feed. Vanderswag holding his pad against the post. Keeps it out and scores. And it's a hat trick goal for EJ Paddington. A 5 2 lead, and Jeremy Dunmore's going off. Third power play goal of the night, and it's the hat trick marker by EJ Paddington to make it a 5 2 game. It's off to the Windsor Plywood penalty box to the fighting walleye number 12, Jeremy Dunmore. Two minutes for cross-checking. Time of that penalty, 5 minutes 45 seconds. That's Dunmore cross-checking at 5.45. North Star power play goal, his third of the game. Score by number 9, E.J. Paddington. The assist to number 22, Kai Vanska. And to number 11, Easton Mikkis. Time of that goal, 14 minutes 15 seconds. Paddington from Vanska and Mikis at 14-15.
Face off to the right of goaltender Vanderswag. At the line, moving in a big bomb just wide of the far post. As Beasley had the point shot there. Broken up by the wall, lie out to center. They'll dump it in. North Star still on a power play. 5 2 game, three of their goals on the power play. And a hat trick from E.J. Paddington. Here comes Larratt, who has a goal in the second period. And that's fired down the ice by the North Stars. Thunder Bay inside their own territory. Here's Anton. Up over the line, Carter Anton. He's tied up. Lang can't clear the zone. Larratt, pass in the middle. Right in front, a good pad save by Vanderswag. On the shot by Tangata. Down to 4.20 to go here in regulation. O'Brien. Carter Anton. Works up through center. Gets around Braham. Anton dumps it in. Tangata. Checks his man off the puck. Keegan Jones tried to catch up to it. And it's backhanded down the ice by Goodwin. A foot race. Here's Braham with a shot. Good save there by Barron. Connor O'Brien. Jones. And Goodwin forced back inside his own territory for Cam River. Down to 3.40 to go in regulation. Preseason opener for Thunder Bay. Sixth of the exhibition schedule for the Walleye. They'll wrap it up tomorrow night at Fort William First Nation Arena. Kenneth Anthong takes a check from Gloucher. Duchesne sidesteps a check, tries to center it for Podubny. Broken up by the North Stars. Pushed ahead. Buffone off the stick. Mintenko takes a bump there. Less than three to go in regulation. Kinnev Anthong tipped just wide by Mintenko. On the far post, Bienvenu keeps the play alive. Mintenko in the corner. Bad angle shot by Pedubny through the crease. And now Liang at his own blue line. Edwin Liang. Gets by Trehotis. Tried to center it there for Mintanko. Lost it in his feet. And back comes Paddington. Who already has three tonight. Could be looking for four. And that shot is stopped by Vanderswag. And he hangs on. <laughs> 220 to go here in regulation. Pleasure to have you on board, wherever you happen to be tuning in. SIJHL preseason. Final weekend of action before the regular season begins on Friday, September 22nd. Walleye will open at home against the Red Lake Miners. North Stars will begin the season on a four-game road trip. Commencing in Sioux Lookout against the Bombers. Out at center, Mintenko plays it ahead. Sam Sargent sidesteps a check and takes a shoulder there from Beasley. Minute 44 to go in regulation. Penalty upcoming against Thunder Bay. As that shot is stopped. And looks like holding might be the call here. Yep, holding going to be the call uh, against Beasley. It's off to the Windsor Plywood penalty box to the North Stars number 15, Matt Beasley, 2-0. 
two minutes for holding. Time of that penalty, 18-24. Beasley holding at 18-24. This walleye power play is brought to you by United Rentals. So the walleye will wrap up the game on the power play. And a 5-2 North Star lead. Liang nearly gives the puck away. Last minute of play in the third period. Up ahead for Wright. Max Wright tries to get around his man. Broken up by the North Stars and down the ice. Again, these two teams will get reacquainted tomorrow night to wrap up the preseason at the Fort William First Nation Arena as the North Stars clear the puck down the ice. And it all gets going for real on Friday, September 22nd. Walleye at home to the Miners. North Stars on the road against the Bombers. In the near corner, Mintanko spins away from a check. Bell, he scores! Brighton Bell on the power play. Makes it 5-3. to three. So a 5-3 game. And the Thunder Bay North Stars open their preseason with a 5-3 win. And the Walleye dropped to 2-4 and four in the preseason. But again, these two teams will wrap it up tomorrow night inside the Fort William First Nation Arena. Thanks for tuning in on, S on YouTube, the SIJHL.